Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, since it's raining today and it's just generally nasty and has been, it's either been freezing or raining in January. So we haven't been able to get out and ride and haven't been able to make any, any cool ass riding videos that I know everybody loves and my whole, uh, all my 64 subscribers just, just, you know, drool for. Um, let's do a bike check and a bike cave uh, tour of my messy, sloppy, poorly organized bike cave. Got this bench. I've had this bench for, God, 20 years. Uh, my brother gave it to me ages ago. It's been through, it's been through wars, basically. Um, it's moved several times. It's come apart several times. I've kicked it. I've slapped it. I've drilled holes in it. I've glued things to it accidentally. Um, it, it's just a mess, but it gets the job done. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, got a whole bunch of cassettes. Uh, that's, an, that's an Eagle cassette. I think that's a box. I think that one's a box too. That one might be a, honestly, I don't know. I think this one might be a Eagle also. Well, not an Eagle, but some kind of old, uh, maybe a Shimano uh, XT type kind of thing. Um, what I got laying over here is a, uh, a box two cassette a box one derailleur and the shifter somewhere around here um what we're going to do is oh that's right i already put the shifter on there what we're going to do is put that on my jeff c rebuild on my uh yt jeff c rebuild it's my full suspension bike that you'll meet in a minute um bunch of crap uh my, my big ass craftsman tool tool case um, it's actually organized pretty well. I've got them all labeled and everything. Got some wheels. Uh, my very first bicycle toolkit down there. I got that in probably 2004, 2003, something like that. Uh, my master's banners from when we went to the master's. Uh, park tools. Go dogs. And this frame up here is an old performance access i got that uh in 2004 and i shipped it i was in i was in colorado at the time and i shipped it home to or i shipped it to georgia to my brother and he he held on to it and i kept sending him parts in the mail and he built it up for me and so when we moved back here in 2005 that bike was ready for me it was a 26 inch uh, hard tail, steel frame. I'm mean, not steel. I'm sorry. It is an aluminum frame, but the thing was bulletproof, and it worked so well. I put a lot of miles on that frame. Um, I still have it because what am I going to do with it? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The bike stable over here, and. I have a heater on. I know it uses a lot of electricity. I probably don't need it right now, but I've got it on. I got it pointed towards the e-bike because batteries and sub-zero temperatures don't, they don't like each other. Um, so this is my Orbea Wild e-bike. It's my main rig. Uh, I love riding this bike. Um, it's got a, a Fox 36 uh, EMTB tuned e-tuned fork on it uh it's got i think the only original part on this bike now is the stem oh and the shock the rear shock i haven't replaced that yet but that's next on the plates um got some new brakes coming for it also i'm gonna replace those bad boys i just put some new tires on it too these are specialized butchers and honestly it's the best tires i've ever used um they, they wear down pretty quick though, but they are sticky. Uh, you can see these are clean because I haven't ridden, ridden it yet. 
but also I have to say that's probably the best tubeless job I've ever done in my life. <laughs> um, so I took these uh, these Continental Der Kaiser projects. These tires are probably three or four years old and they've been on, this is the third different bike it's been on. These tires were awesome. Um, I'm not really sure what Continental tire uh, they replaced it with. I think it might be the Crypto Tall, something like that. I'm not sure what is its equivalent now. But that tire, those tires are awesome, the Kaiser Project. Uh, they looked good and they rolled good and they stuck. So that's on my Kona Hanzo. Uh, and this is, I won this, I won this frame. It's a steel frame, Kona Hanzo ESD. I won this frame in a, in a raffle uh, over at Blankets Creek. Um, I never won anything, so I was really stunned. This was the last thing they gave out. I thought I was going home empty handed. And this was the last thing they gave out, and I won it. And I was just kind of shocked to see that I won it. And so I originally had built it up as a, a 12 speed, but you can see it's, it's, uh, it's made to be a single speed. It's got the uh, adjustable, uh, the adjustable rear axle, so you can tighten up the chain. Uh, it's built up with a bunch of mutt parts um, that I took off of nearly, you know, that I've collected over the last probably 10 years. Um, and as you can see down here, Kona has a sense of humor. 69, 420. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there, of course, is 8 Ball the Duck. So that's my single speed. It has... It has a Wheels Manufacturing Solo XD hub on it. And for ease of installation and ease of use and just looking damn good, that's probably the, the best uh, $120 I've spent on this bike. Okay, let's put it back in here. <sighs> ah! I tell you, man, this, this rack Spike rack, it just was not meant for full-size mountain bikes. It was meant for like city tour bikes and crap like that, kitty bikes. Uh, but I make it work. Um, and this bike hanging up here is the YT Jeffsy. I got this in 2017. I got this frame in 2017. When I got the Kona Hanzo, I took all the parts off of the YT Jeffsy. I took them off and put them on the Kona Hanzo and ran it as a 12-speed. Um, that was everything, everything. It was a bare frame except for the rear shock and the crank set, the Hope crank set, because it didn't work on the Kona Hanzo, so I just left it on here. So it hung around, it hung around from the rafters uh, for seven, eight months. Then I decided, hey, let's rebuild that thing. So I started accumulating parts again. Um, I took the seat post that came with the e-bike and put it in here and it fits perfectly that's the original seat that i got with this jeffsy so it's from 2017. uh these pedals are very nice pedals they're crank brothers stamp sevens they're very expensive and very pretty um, i spent way too much on them because i'm stupid um, this is the original fork that came on it it is a rock shocks pike uh, 140 mil travel, uh, and this bike came out when 140 mil travel was, it was a, you know, that was a lot for that time. Um, the wheel set I have on it is the Spank rims, Spank hoops with Hope Pro 4 hubs. And in the back, uh, if you like loud hubs, Hope Pro 4s are loud. They're very loud. Um, I went shopping for some parts for this thing a couple of weeks ago and got this fun. F-U-N-N -N is the brand. It's a fun stem and the handlebars. It's a 30 millimeter uh, rise handlebar. And it, it's pretty nice. It's pretty well built. Um, I'm using the uh, Orbea Grips that came with the e-bike. I'm going to use those on this on this bike to get it all working. 
Um, so yeah, that's what we're working with. Uh, this bike is a work in progress, total work in progress. Um, I got some parts coming soon that will help flesh this thing out and maybe I can get it, you know, get it ready to do some laps on it by, uh, late spring, maybe, maybe even early spring. Who knows? Um, it's, I'm working on it. So that's the bike stable. Uh, parts laying all over the place. I've got wheels laying everywhere. Uh, got my old helmet stuck to the wall up here. My old Renthal fat bar carbon that got some mineral oil dripped on it and it kind of ate through the carbon. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Um, let's see. That's really, that's what I got going on here. Um, this is my bike cave. Uh, I like spending time out here. It's it's very, it's comfortable. It's cozy. Um, uh, it keeps me entertained. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for listening listening to me uh, talk about my my stuff. Behold my stuff. Um, thanks for letting me go on and ramble on about this. Had a good time. Uh, look forward to seeing you back out on the trail. Hopefully next week it will be cleared up enough and dry enough where we can all hit the trail again and I can make some more videos. Um, let me know in the comments uh, how you like this. Uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the drill. You hear it all the time in other videos. Hey, please like and subscribe. So um, y'all have a good day and I will see you next time around. Thanks.